Hey guys, President Bola Metunibu receives unexpected message over unbearable inflation, corruption. See Yoruba Eda's explosive statement that raised concerns. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming up here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Council of Yoruba Eda's CYE convened a media parley at their Ibadan headquarters, urging President Bola Tinubu to address the escalating insecurity in the southwest region. Dr. Victor Taiwo, the Secretary General of the CYE, voiced deep concerns over the resurgence of Fulani Hesmen attacks, adoptions, and indiscriminate killings. He emphasized the urgency of President Tinubu's intervention to prevent further deterioration of the situation. Dr. Taiwo provided insights into the critical issues of inflation attributing the soaring price of essential commodities to a complex interplay of factors, including the removal of the fuel subsidy and the challenges posed by insecurity, the persistent attacks on farmers, particularly hindering assets to farmers, have resulted in a significant food deficit, contributing substantially to the high cost experience in markets. Furthermore, he linked the removal of the fuel subsidy to increased transportation costs, making it increasingly difficult for Nigerians to afford their basic needs. Expressing profound dismay at the current state of the economy, Dr. Taiwo highlighted the unprecedented rise in Suicides attributed to hunger and hopelessness, the alarming rate of unemployment, he noted, has forced many youth into criminal activities as an alternative means of survival. Despite government's initiative aimed at alleviating hardship, there has been minimal positive impacts, leaving these populace in excruciating agony. As a new voice for the Yoruba people, the CYA issued a fervent appeal to President Tinubu to urgently find lasting solutions to these pressing issues. Dr. Taiwo underscored the need for immediate action to provide relief for the suffering masses emphasizing the urgency of addressing the cries of the people in Yoruba land. The Yoruba elders employed the president to intervene decisively, offering a beckon of hope for the people, enduring hardship and mixed abundance. On the security front, Dr. Taiwo painted a vivid picture of the challenges faced by the southwest region. The trailing report of renewed Fulani Hesmen attack on farmers, the revenging of plantation feeds, abductions to for ransoms and indiscriminate killings, particularly in Ondo and Oyo State, while acknowledging a brief period of relief. After the challenge in government in May 2023, he expressed deep concern over the recent upswing in high-profile security challenges, describing it as alarming. The Secretary General cited specific incidents, such as the gruesome murder of a 62-year-old grandmother in Ondo State, kidnappings in Sake, Okaka, and Ipo in Oyo State, and Fulani Heather's attacks on farmers in Afon, Ogun, Ogun State, and other places in Oyo State, 
within a month, highlighting the killing of Reverend David Musa in Kogi State and abduction of 15 church members in Ondo State. Dr. Tai will stress the critical importance of President Tinubu's attention to these issues before they escalate further. In the realm of economic challenges, Dr. Tai will provide a comprehensive analysis connecting the dots between the attacks on farmers, the forest subsidy remover, and the reluctant high costs of food items in the market. He emphasized that the Fulani herdsmen assault impeded farmers' assets to their, to, their, to their feed, leading to a deficit in food items and subsequently driving up costs additionally. The removal of the forest subsidy contributed to high transportation costs, further exacerbating the affordability crisis for its essential commodities. In conclusion, Dr. Tai reiterated the CYE's role as advocates for the Yoruba people and their commitment to addressing the pressing issues affecting the region. The elders urged President Tinubu to act promptly, offering pragmatic solutions to alleviate the suffering of the masses. The appeal resonates as a call for immediate and decisive action to restore a sense of security and economic stability for the people of Yoruba land. Nigerians have been crying and they are still crying, talking about the insecurity, hunger, you know, on the land. This is not, uh, it's not funny. It's not led for the government to do something urgently about this. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you're just joining us, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.